Hi guys, hope you are fine and doing great. Today the topic we are going to learn and discuss about is cells. Cells are the basic membrane bound until that contains the fundamental molecules of life and of which all living things are composed. A simple cell is often a complete organism in itself, such as a bacterium or yeast. Other cells acquire specialized function as they mature. Or in simple words, you can say that the cell is the basic structural, functional and biological unit of all living organisms. It is the smallest unit of life. All living organisms are made up of cells. Some formed from a single cell, others are multicellular. Here is a diagram of a typical animal and a plant cell. There are some features that both animal and plant cells have in common, such as a cell membrane, cytoplasm and a large nucleus. And there is also certain features that are found in plant cells but not in animal cells, such as a cell wall, large central vacuole and green chloroplast. Each cell structure has its own function. A cell membrane controls substances from entering and leaving the cell. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance where many small cell structures are found and where many chemical processes happen. The nucleus controls the cell division and it also controls the growth and the work of the cell. The cell wall supports and defines the shape of the cell and the cell sap also supports the shape of the cell and it is used for the storage of some materials. If there is not enough cell sap in the vacuole, the whole plant may wilt. Chloroplast contains the green pigment chlorophyll that absorbs the light energy it uses in the process of photosynthesis to make food. Specialization of cells There is a wide range of different cells. Every cell is specialized to perform its function. Many different cells specialized for different function. The special features that the cell have which allow them to carry out their job is called specialization. Cilia are tiny hair like structure on the surface of the cell. These hair sweeps dust away and muscles trap the dust and bacteria up to the back of the throat where it can be swallowed. Palisade massive cell. Palisade cells are the plant cells located on the leaf. They contain a large number of chloroplasts. The chloroplasts in these cells absorb a mission portion of light used in photosynthesis. Red blood cells. These cells are made in the bone marrow and have no nucleus, so they last only for 120 days. Red blood cells contain a chemical called hemoglobin, which carries oxygen for the lungs to all parts of the body. Human sex cells. In the human reproductive system, there are two kinds of sex cells or gametes. The male gamete called sperm and the female gamete called ova or egg cell. The sperm cells travel to the egg cell for fertilization. Now I am going to present the diagram of the egg cell and the sperm cell. Now let's see what root hair cells are specialized for. They are specialized to perform a specific function. Their structure allows the plant to absorb more water. They also allow a plant to take in the minerals it needs to survive. So guys, as we finish up discussing and learning the topic, so we are going to move towards question and answers. So our first question is, name the part of a plant cell that does the following. Part A carries out photosynthesis, B contains cell sap, C stops the cell swelling if it takes a lot of water. The answer is given below.
and our second question is where will you find the following cells and what do they do so you can see that I have already written where we can find it and what is their function and our last question is describe the role of the following cell structures nucleus cell membrane and cytoplasm and I have already described it down below you can look at so that was the end of our chapter 2 if you have any confusion or questions regarding to this chapter you can ask me in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer and to clear your confusion thank you